All right, so you're a developer. What's your approach to building a data center? So you first, they're looking at total cost of ownership. As mentioned, efficiency, one of the biggest focuses for uh, those developing a data center. Or if you're a developer that rents out the space, it is likely going to be your main cost for the entire life cycle of the building, outstripping actually building the building itself. Um, if you're installing the hardware, servers are going to be updated every maybe three to five years. If you think about how often your phone or laptop starts to feel outdated, this is no different to server equipment. And uh, developers look to squeeze all the performance per what they can. And if you, this means replacing all their equipment, they will. Uh, cash flow is also very important as they might have lots of projects running. So, and for this reason, construction will be phased, which we'll touch on later. Uh, they're likely to have servers operating in the building before the rest of the building is finished, just so they can get cash flow in before spending more elsewhere. And ME equipment is only purchased as necessary. And I'll explain this further later on. Finally, there's a the length of the construction program. Uh, we found that once the developers decide they want a data center, it all happens very quickly. And the, pro the actual schedules are very tight. There's not much float in them. And things like the modular data center or the containerized units mentioned earlier are just so they can build them at a real fast pace. Uh, Google pushes the dark remote working data centers. So the idea is that you don't actually need anyone inside a data center while it's running. So they can turn all the power off. They can run the room slightly warmer. Um, there's less interaction, less chance of things going wrong. Uh, the EPMS and BMS systems they use to monitor data centers is now at a quite a granular level, so like a per rack level, so they can see which server's doing what, what's not being uh, not fully allocated, where they can save power, maybe what's malfunctioning. And there's loads of other um, innovation going on um, just on the infrastructure, so things like district heating or use of sustainable power campuses. So wind, wind power is quite popular in the UK actually for powering data centers. And um, I believe, I think it was Facebook looking at powering with batteries instead of generators. So if there is an emergency, there's no need to use diesel. They can just use battery power, which is a lot cleaner. 